RuneScape, an open world game full of endless possibilities and challenges. A game that induces nostalgia from my early teen years unlike any other. My first introduction to adventure, strategy, optimization, and long grinds towards goals. This really is where it all started. If you've never played before, let me introduce you to the world of RuneScape. You have a character who finds himself in an open world full of monsters, quests, dungeons, and nearly limitless possibilities of goals. You have skills which begin at level 1 and are leveled up over time to unlock more content. Fishing and cooking, wood cutting and fire making, mining and smithing, crafting and rune crafting, and of course, combat stats such as range, magic, health, strength, attack and defense. Over time, you will be able to make find and wear better armor and weapons, and take on more difficult monsters and bosses. For this account, we will be playing on a free-to-play account just like I did years ago, but without the ability to trade with other players or die, a hardcore Iron Man. The end goal is to complete every available quest, obtain all the best gear, gain access to the most exclusive total level worlds, and finally defeat both new bosses. Should be a great series reliving where my enjoyment of gaming all began. Let's go. Hey, welcome to episode three of our RuneScape series. I have been busy and I'm excited for this one. Finally, I've had a chance to sit down and do some planning for what the next little bit's gonna look like. And this one is gonna be good. I am excited. So we finished all of our quests last time. We got ourselves a ton of food. So we did a lot of fishing and cooking. So got some pretty good levels there, 41 and 43. So for the last couple of days, I've been working on editing a bunch of videos, finishing off the first couple episodes, working on some other content stuff as well, and uh, just had to do a lot of AFK stuff. And so one of the things that I've needed for the future is a lot of rune essence for rune crafting. And I have almost 6,500 rune essence. So let's do a little rewind and I'll show you what that's looked like. Okay, so where to go from here? Well, for Dragon Slayer, there are several skills that we need at really specific levels before we can actually do the quest. We need to have 34 smithing and we need to have 33 magic. The reason for that is we need to have 34 smithing to make nails to repair a boat to get to the island, and we need 33 magic in order to telegrab something as well. And then uh, we also need to work on our melee stats a lot as well there's a ton of stuff we're going to do i'm going to get into specifics as we go uh, but first things first we are actually only 680 experience away from getting 41 mining once that happens then we have the level to wear a rune pickaxe so first things first we're actually going to run over and continue mining silver we need 546 silver first which we're going to turn into 546 silver bars and then we're going to make those into symbols those are going to get us to 34 smithing which is what we need as well as that's going to make us to about 60,000 gold which is going to be a huge help in buying all of the things that we need to buy so Lots of stuff going on. It's gonna make sense as we go, but first things first, let's go get our 41 mining. Okay, the second maze, and finally, I'm going to record this one correctly. Let's go. So you don't have to start right away. You can kind of set your path the way that you want it, and then go. Seventy five percent. Let's go. That felt super clean. That was really good. I didn't have to backtrack at all. Mithril ore, feather and 
that's it. So 361 feathers and myth ore. Not too bad. All right, here we go. This is our last silver that we need to mine. And then we hit our 41 mining. And then we're going to go make 32,000, which I'll show you how we're going to do that. And then we can go buy a rune pickaxe so that this will be much, much faster. Let's do it. We have made it. We are in the wilderness. And basically what we are doing here is picking up steel plate legs. We're switching worlds, pick up a full inventory, uh, run over to the general store. We're going to sell them and then make our 32,000, probably a little bit more because I have a few other things to buy like runes so that we can be training our magic later in the episode. So uh, yeah, let's get it. Okay, we did it. We uh, spent way too much time in the wilderness, died once, so our death count is now at three, which is excellent. And uh, ended up switching over to plate bodies because it was taking forever to get legs. Doesn't matter. We got the money that we needed. So here we go. Rune pickaxe. Buy one. 32k. We've got 13k left over. Should give us lots to buy runes. So let's get back to silver mining. We need 546. So I will see you in a minute. Beautiful. 557. So we're going to go mine a little bit of coal so that we can actually make the steel bars that we need to make the nails. And then uh, we're going to spend a bunch of time actually making silver bars and then crafting those into unholy symbols and a few TRs for rune crafting for later on. Should get us some good smithing levels and crafting levels, which is what we need for the quest. So let's get it. Here we go. This should be it. 34 smithing. That's what we've been going for. Excellent. All right. I'm making the steel bars that we need for the nails. This is what we need for the quest. What all of that was for. All right. So we've got 551 symbols. So we're going to go sell these. They sell to the wilderness shop at high elk price, which is 120 each. Each one that you sell reduces the price by a little bit each time, so we might get closer to like 100 or so each one, but this will be a solid like 55, 60K type thing, which will go a, a long way of buying the things that we need going forward, so good stuff. <laughs> 57K, awesome. All right, so we are safe and on to our next task. So the next thing that we need to do, and probably the last thing that we're gonna do in this episode, in order to finish the quest uh, without having to pay a bunch extra, we need to get to 33 magic. There it is, telekinetic grab at 33 magic. So here's what's gonna happen. Basically, I bought a bunch of mine runes with some of the money before, and we have a fire staff, but we need a ton of air runes, like probably 4,500 air runes in order to uh, cast all the spells with the with the fire staff no fire runes are used with the mine runes we have them so we need air runes so what we're going to do now with the rune essence that i mined before is we're going to go and rune craft a ton of them our rune crafting level is still only level four and so we're going to get up a bunch of levels in rune crafting it's really nice because when you get to certain levels like level 11, level 22, you get double the runes or triple the runes instead of just one per and so we should be able to get tons and tons all right, we're going to make our air talisman or our air tiara. There we go. Wear it. So that saves us an extra spot in our inventory. So we're going to be doing 28 at a time. So 130 experience there. Nice rune crafting level. And uh, we're just going to do that many, many, many times. <laughs>
Well, we just hit our 28 rune crafting, which is what we're going to be sitting at for quite a while. Made just over 5,000 air runes. Still going to be doing a bit of rune crafting on and off, depending on if I'm editing or not, but it's time to move on to magic. We have just enough runes to do about 2250 fire strikes which is going to be our main method right now we're going to be doing it so that we get defense and magic xp for the first little bit probably until we get 20 defense just want to get those levels up so that i can wear myth armor sooner than later and then we're actually going to be going for 37 magic. The reason for that is that once we get 37, we can cast all of the teleportation spells in free-to-play, which is going to be huge, so we can jump around the world a lot faster. All right, so this is going to be our first of two upgrades that we need for our gear in terms of magic. So we're going to be making a magic amulet instead, which will give us a nice magic boost, so we'll be making that in a minute. And then also we need monk uh, robe bottom, so we're going to be attacking one of these monk of Zamorak and hopefully we get a nice robe drop 20 hp 21 magic and 8 defense already so these will be some pretty quick levels but those will kind of be our base levels to start off with and we'll see where we get to hopefully we get this drop soon as well oh we got the robe top we need the robe bottom shoot Yes, finally, that took forever. I wish I would have figured out how many kills that took. I'm not too sure, but it took like 300 spells. So finally, extra magic attack bonus. That's what we need. All right, next thing, we need to make a magic amulet. So the plan is that we are going to go into the wilderness after we bank and all the way up here, a, a cosmic rune spawns. So we need to go grab a cosmic rune. All right, there's our cosmic rune. Let's grab it and get out of here. All right, we just got our gold ore that we need, so let's go smelt it and we can finish our amulet. Well, don't I feel rather silly? Gold bar, 40 smithing. We are seven, six levels out. Not a big deal though, because you can get a gold bar in free to play without smithing it, but it is by telekinetic grab, which is 33 magic. So that's what we were going for originally anyway. So it's not actually a big deal. Um, we're just gonna have to get to 33 magic first, then we'll use the grab, get a gold bar, make ourselves a, a magic amulet, and then continue on magic until 37. So just doing things in a bit of a different order, all good. Let's uh, get to hill giants and finally, finally start our magic. Let's go. All right, so we are at Hill Giants. This is the famous spot. So we're gonna be picking up all the big bones, burying them, hopefully getting lots of prayer levels, going for 33 magic before we leave and uh, hopefully making some money along the way. So let's do it. Oh, and Cosmic Runes are first drop so we wouldn't have to go all the way to the wilderness. Yo, so new to the game is two new bosses. In order to access the bosses, you need to kill either these hill giants or moss giants, which are quite a bit more difficult. And there's a really small chance that you can get keys from it, which is this giant key. And when you get that, it gives you access to the boss one time. And so we just got our first ever giant key drop, which is huge. And uh, we will be saving these in the bank until we're higher level. And that'll be one of the last things that we want to accomplish on the account is finishing both of the brand new bosses. So really excited about that. This is going to be our last giant, and we're going to hit 33 magic. We're not actually going to go and make the necklace yet, because I need one law rune in order to actually do the telekinetic grab, and I don't have any yet. But these giants have a 1 in 43 chance of dropping law runes. We just haven't got a drop yet. We've killed, well, this will be our 50th one. So when we finally get our law rune drop, then we'll go make our amulet of magic. Finally, it took 89 kills. But we got our two law runes. That is what we needed. And we have 36 magic. We're only 2k away. 
we might as well get it. We've got a few defense levels, a few prayer levels, a couple of HP levels as well. This has been ridiculous. But let's uh, get these last 2k XP, get our 37 magic, make our Ami, and that will be it for this one. Yes, 37 magic. There it is. Beautiful. We've got our Falador teleport and all of the other free-to-play teleports done. We have our telekinetic gra grab. So good. Perfect. 101 hill giant kills. Let's go make that amulet. Here we go. That's what we needed. Gold bar. Grab. Bar. Yes. Game time. Let's do this. Cut sapphire. Smelt furnace. Sapphire amulet. Strung and enchanted let's go plus six magic attack bonus that is our best in slot free to play magic ami so that is huge awesome that is it for this one super full episode we got done a ton of stuff next episode this is when things get really good we are going to be going all out after melee stats we need to do that, and then following that, we're going for Dragon Slayer. We're going for it. So next episode, we are going to be buying, with the gold that we made, all of the melee gear that we're going to need. Oh, look at this train of bots. Beautiful. <laughs> we're going to be going after all of the melee gear that we need. We're going to be training this up to probably 40 attack, 50 strength, and 40 defense, decking ourselves out, making a bunch more money to buy all of the gear that we need, and putting in the final touches before Dragon Slayer, which will be following that. So I'm excited. It's going to be good. Thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great day and a great week. Love you all. Talk to you later. Peace out.